Hello, this is HCAM. We are watching Hopkinton versus Holliston cross country. Uh, first wave has already gone off. They have run across the field, and we are looking at the second wave starting right now over there. And the second wave is off. In this wave for Hopkinton, we have Lex K, Cole Dysendroff, Jake Churko, Connor Dorfman, and Andrew Moore. A wide range of ages, and it looks like we have Lex going out to an early lead in this heat. I know he was talking to me before, and he's looking to get a strong start this race. Jake Churko, Cole Dysendroff also looking to push it this race. A lot of green in the lead. That's what we like to see. And it's going to be Lex K making it to the making it to the woods first. Good work by Hopkinson. And he's going to maintain that hopefully down and around the soccer field as they head onto Wells L Trail. I'm sorry. What? Uh, no, no, I know the. We're going to have the third wave going off very shortly here today. It is a crisp day here in Hopkinson. Uh, but fortunately, we got the sun out for us, which is very nice. In this next wave for Hopkinson, we have Chase Dixon, Jackson Slushel, uh, Owen Fitzpatrick, and I believe that is Ben. Ben and... Looks like they'll be going off shortly. A lot of strong runners in this heat. A lot of people that have been training over the summer. So I'm excited to see how they place. And... There they are off. Here we see Green, again, going out to an early lead in the pack. Jackson Slushel. Jackson Slushel pulling ahead. Good mix of Green and Red in that top pack as they make their way into the woods. They'll be coming back across this field in approximately 15 minutes now for the final stretch. They will be finishing over there on the football field. Right across, they're gonna come down across the field the opposite way they came. Down behind the doghouse, across the football field, and finish up right by the goalpost there. It is a beautiful autumn day here in Hopkinton. Wave four. We'll be going off shortly, the final wave of the race. In this wave, we have a lot of seniors. Uh, Tyler Holbrow, John Mastrangelo, of course, Peter Berdoulas, Tyler Holbrow, uh, usually more of a lane one, lane two type of guy. Not really feeling it today, but still expect to see a solid performance from him. Uh, Peter Berdoulas, very strong 300-meter runner on the indoor and outdoor track. So we're going to see him probably get off to an early lead here in this pack. And here we go. Brockett, we have Peter Berdoulas, Nick LaChasey, John Mastrangelo, and Tyler Holbrow, and here we see Peter. Peter really putting in the work, getting off to an early lead, looking at the camera. He is a man on a mission. You can't help but love a good start. Nick LaChasey also going out strong, Tyler Holbrow and John Mastrangelo. Again, every time we keep seeing the green in the lead. This is, this is a good sign as they head into the forest. Looks like Peter's gonna slow down a little bit, let Tyler catch up with him. Uh, 
That's the end. It's going to be a while before we see our team again. Walking us through the trail, it's a 2.8 mile loop. Going down Fern Gully onto Center Trail. Right on center takes you to Wellsell. Around Wellsell, up Center Trail again, and onto the Loop Road. Around Loop Road to Field 13. A loop around that field, and then back to the high school where they will be finishing again on the field where they started. So where are they going to be coming from? I'm sorry. They're going to be coming from up again, right there. We're looking for a very strong Hopkinson-led pack today. In the top pack, which uh, we did not manage to see go off, we had Colby Michaud, Colby Michaud, Jake Lacoche, Wyatt Ruff, Matt Berdoulis, Matt Berdoulis' first year running. We're looking for a strong pack today coming through. Jake LaCloche and Wyatt hoping to push each other into the first place spot. Colby hoping to hold off Holliston's number one running runner. While Craig Saloy and Matt Berdoulas hoping to hold off the number two, Nate Giordano. It's going to be a good race all around. Based on Hoffington's ability, however, we are expecting to win this one. It is about 10 minutes into the race at this point. Our runners are probably nearing mile two. Preparing to turn around and come back to the school. We can expect to see faces popping up in a around, I'd say, five minutes now. When people are first going to come up, we're going to see them first kind of down there along the street by the, uh, the new turf field. But it's probably going to be a while until we see anyone out there. But I imagine we'll be able to see some faces pop up. It is a crisp fall day in Hopkinson. Uh, we are lucky enough to have been allowed spectators. Many parents have been able to come and watch their children, which is a very fun, very good thing. We are all very happy the school was able to make that decision. Of course, social distancing and masks are still enforced for the safety of the athletes and the spectators. Started at around 10.01. Do you see them? Oh, there we see our first runner coming up along the field. Hard to identify what it is. Oh, I think that might be, I can't tell if that's a green or red, green or red singlet there. It's a red singlet. Oh. Holliston in the lead. Hopkinson, 1-2. We're going to need to see some speed if we want Hopkinson to catch up to those boys. Wyatt Ruff, incredible 400 runner. Does he have what it takes to close the gap between them and Holliston? We see Matt Verdulis in fourth, Holliston runner in fifth, and two Hopkinson runners taking up the chase pack. Holliston working up the hill. He's going to be coming up over here now. Getting to his final sprint across the field. Does he have what it takes to hold off Wyatt and Jake Lacoche? Both incredible finishers. 
Wyatt Ruff using the speed, trying to close the gap. Let's go, Green! Do they have what it takes to close the gap? Wyatt Ruff. Wyatt Ruff and Jake Lacoche pounding away. We have a 40 meter gap there. Can they close it? Oh! Halston is stuttering. Matt Berdoulis in fourth. Putting in the work. Colby and Craig. Trying to catch Nate. Can they catch him? It is going to be a heck of a finish here in Hopkinton, Massachusetts. Can they catch him? As we see, Holliston's about to finish the final stretch on the football field here. Does Hopkinton have what it takes to close this gap? It's going to take a heck of a burst of speed right now. It looks like it's going to be Holliston taking the first place. Here we see him going down the final stretch. Wyatt Ruff trying to rally. Jake Lacoche dropping off as Wyatt comes in the third spot. Matt Berdoulis. It's going to be Hillers 2 3 4. Let's go, Craig. Let's go, Colby. Craig and Colby trying to finish, trying to kick it in. It's going to be Hopkinson. Two, three, four. We got more Hollison coming across the field. Hopkinson, two, three, four, and six and seven. Here we see Chase Pack, primarily Holliston. Not as much green as we would like to see, but it looks like we're going to get this win today. We're looking for the green that should be coming up. Oh, we just cut out, I think. Oh, we're back. That's uh, the last part of Holliston's wave. Last chunk of Holliston's wave one. And here we see the first of Hopkinson wave two. Here we see Lex K. He is running incredibly strong. Hoping for a strong finish from Lex. Hoping for a good kick. We cut out again, I think. We cut out. It's it's still coming through? All right. I can't hear any of the static. I think it cut out. All right. Lex K finishing strong. And here we see coming across the field. It's Jake and Andrew. Halston Runners finishing up. Yeah, it's back. Jake Cherko and Andrew Moore finishing up behind us. Here we see Lex K. Lex K coming down across the football field now. He said he wanted a strong race today and he executed that. Pushing it all on himself, an honorable feat. Looking to finish strong with a good kick. Lex K finishing up there. More Hopkinson kids coming across the field. Hopkinson and Holliston. And if we look at the football field here, we'll see Jake Cherko and Andrew Moore finishing up. Jake Cherko. Incredibly strong burst of speed here at the end. Pacing with Andrew for most of the race, it looks like. He's going to finish a solid 20, 30 yards in front of him. Strong effort by both. And here we see Connor Dorfman, only a freshman, not far behind. Not, fine behind. not far behind at all his senior companions. 
finishing up very strong. Cole dies and drop. All the way in. We see Hollison finishing on the other side of the line. It cut out again. Uh huh. All right. Got it. Thank you. Allison finishing up. We're going to see third wave Hopkinson coming through very shortly now. I believe we see... I believe that is Ben finishing up for Hopkinson. Right now on the upper start field. He is working very hard right now to finish this race. As another Holliston runner finishes up on the football field. Ben dropping everyone else in pack three, pushing it quite far ahead. Here we see Jackson Slushel and Owen finishing up on the upper field. Let's see if Owen's going to be able to catch that Holliston runner. We're hoping Jackson's able to hold him off. Doing the math in my head though, I do believe we've won this taking two, three, we took two, three, four, on at least six and seven with Holliston one, two, eight, nine, ten. It's all right. Here we see Ben finishing up. Very strong finish from Ben here. Jackson Slushel with the kick. Oh, look at Jackson go. Jackson Slushel kicking incredibly hard. What a kick. Now that's how you finish your race. Owen Schnur, or Owen Fitzpatrick, sorry. Finishing up. On the inside, strong finish from Owen here. One of the difficulties with the new restrictions, of course, is the lack of pack running. Running is definitely a mental sport and definitely an individual sport, and even more now than ever. Having the runners finding they have to push themselves in new ways. Here we see Holliston finishing up on the upper field. Hopkinson not far behind. Who is that? Oh, here we see Holliston and Chase Dixon finishing up. Chase Dixon finishing up with a strong kick on the football field. Here we see Nick Capellos. Can he catch that Holliston runner? It is going to be close. The girls race start set to start at 11. We're beginning to see them warm up around the field.
thinking of the... Oh, here we see Peter Berdoulis. Peter Berdoulis and Tyler Holbrow from Wave 4 finishing up. Peter Berdoulis definitely hustling. We're looking at a strong kick here to finish up for Peter Berdoulis. Nick Apelos trying to kick. Nick Apelos rallying. Eating him up. Strong finish by Nick Apelos right there. Closing what appeared to be a 10, 20 yard gap between him and Holliston and a very strong kick on the football field. We see Hopkinson going behind the doghouse, preparing to kick. John Mastrangelo finishing up for Hopkinson. And here we see Holliston finishing up on the football field. And there's Peter Berdoulis coming through very strong, finishing with that 300 speed. Kicking it in. Everything he's got, leaving it on the field. Impressive finish for Peter Berdoulis. Tyler Holbrow coming in now. Already today we see some impressive performances from some of Hopkinton's top finishers. Matt Berdoulis moving up from the seventh spot to the third spot this race for Hopkinson. John Mastrangelo finishing. Strong kick from John Mastrangelo. He is pushing it in for sure. A lot of very strong performances today. Very strong finishes. Here we see some Holliston runners finishing up now near the end of this race. It is a crisp day. It is chilly, it is windy. It is a great day to be racing. And Holliston finishing up now on the football field. Kicking it in. I believe you only have one more Hollister runner left now. There's a Hollister runner over there. Got it. All right. Oh, got it. Another Holliston runner finishing up. I do believe that is the last Holliston runner.
very strong performances by both teams today. Holliston taking the number one spot, but I do believe Hawkinson taking the win. Very strong performances by Hawkinson runners. Wyatt Ruff, first for Hawkinson, followed by Jake LaCoche. Mapper Duelos in third for the team and fourth overall. There we see Colby Michaud waving to me down with his parents. Hi, Colby. Colby Michaud finishing up, uh, I believe, sixth for Hawkinson. Sasha Brown waving the flag. That is it. That is the end of the race here today, folks. Girls race goes off in half an hour. Ladies and gentlemen, you have been watching Hopkinton versus Holliston, the boys race. Thank you for tuning in.